today I have a special opportunity to introduce you my new baby to the camcorder or camera uh, adventure family. <laughs> a new, uh, like my granddaughter says, up to five years warranty. Like my wife, uh, my wife and my granddaughter, they uh, used to say, a new member of the family. See, it's not that heavy. Oh yeah, you can record this, this is important. Because in the manuals inside, they see a different story. See, whatever is yellow that's speaking, that's sharp. So, let's see what's inside. Open this, Manfrotto stand. Manfrotto stand, we're gonna get rid of this. This is empty now, with the hair, <laughs> and this is Manfrotto. I already weighted it in, it's 4.2, like it says in the manuals. Manuals are here, that's the, the manuals of the head, and of course, everywhere is a long hair from my granddaughters. <laughs> The head is this one, MVH5502H, -H, A H. this one, so that's, that's the thing, explains you everything, and you pay so much money, and uh, it doesn't come with a bag, that's kind of funny, right, the size is, because you already saw it, 75 centimeters and that's also the manuals from the from the stand this is this one this one yeah this one here and just check it here it comes with this thing here which is made for camcorders, guys. Go with your head. Is it English? Yes. PGT or the name. Okay. This is just the size of it. When you put it, it looks respectable. You have, I like this thing here, rubberized feet. And it opens one, two, and three ways. Of course, I like this thing, it's very, very sturdy. You have this thing to put the weight on it. And the main reason I bought it actually, this thing, the main reason I bought it because it's made for camcorders. See, it has a resistance. Press here. Oh, no lock. Opa. That's not good. Did I hit you? No. <laughs> because I'm not following the rules. First, I need to put this pan, pan bar on the right or the left. There is a rosette and you can mount it on the either left or the right side. And you can choose the angle of course. Make sure it's tight. And that's it. That's the reason I bought it. Because you have this toy thing, right? You can go minus. Unlock it hard. first, unlock it here. And then see, if you go minus, it's very soft, see? It's 360 pan flat head. And this is for slowing the resistance or increasing resistance in a tilt. So you press here, unlock it here first, then you can push it and press here to remove the Manfrotto style. This is a locking knob, comes with a, a 3 8 here and 3 8 here and even has here 3 8 accessory arm, whatever you want to do. 
and here comes with uh, one quarter inch and three eighths uh, for my camcorder I need only one quarter this thing is very sturdy and it's very so you can go up front then in the middle and then you can lock it like this and you can move it lock it more and that's the thing see it follows see? it's balanced and it's ready for 4.4 kilograms the camcorder so this is basically a video head so video head it's very nice I'm gonna use this just to show you how it works of course you first unlock it from here and then you can go high and then you can press this here all the way and then you put it like this and you can use it in this manual in, in this mode like horizontal shooting mode right. you choose your shot you lock it here you lock it here so it doesn't move and because it's tilting right it wants to tilt you can always go take a little bit up take this one a little bit up to make for the counterbalance right lock this pan pan is locked here choose your shot see you put weight it's not gonna it's not gonna go differently like you don't want to go and you can always use it as a wait a minute tilt is here no that's bad lock for pen and this is lock for <laughs> still bear with me I'm still learning it's mm -hmm. is it under this side no where's the lock for the for the tilt oh here come on <laughs> that's lock for tilt and then you can choose or if you go like this all the way up see I'm gonna put it down just because I already and then you can open both at the same time basically to demonstrate how you can open basically two of them at the same time so you open like this and they, they come basically at the same time the good thing is, with this is really really good made see it's very handy and it can open in one position second position so right and then you can go uh, to remove this guy here so you first want to unlock it here so cheap one it comes with this uh, this thing here where is it mm -hmm. oh it's it's up there anyway we want to show how we're gonna then from horizontal go into the normal vertical so first we want to press this guy here now with this guy here when you press you can move it here right But what I wanted to say that you go like this and open it up and there's a red thing here. You can squeeze it all the way and completely remove the head. 
See, and when you put your camcorder, look at this, you can put it here, where you unscrew this, put it like this, up, you can screw it, put here, like the arms, handles, put camcorder here, and then you can use it as a small <laughs> shoulder rig, right? Which is amazing, that's crazy, that's one idea. Plus, you can always do, yeah, I'll lock it here, and then you can always uh, tilt, see, you can use it as, a, as extra weight, because this is thing, this thing's probably like a one kilogram already, just a second, whole thing, together with the video head and with the, the tripod is 4.2 kilos. I'm just gonna measure the measure them. Oh, it's a different spot. Independently, just to see. How much do they weigh? Extra. Right? Can come on this side because of the lighting. See? I'm gonna just measure. How much is this whole thing weighing right now? It's almost 2000, it's on the limit. 1920, without any accessories, nothing. So it's almost two kilograms. Two kilograms, and this should be like a 2.2 kilograms. So you can use this as an extra added weight for the rig. <laughs> so that's the thing you press, it goes in. So when you, move, when you move it nicely down, if you want to put it back, you press here, come closer. This whole thing goes up, you press it here, put it back, it clicks, and then the whole thing is made for moving, right? So there is a, hmm, maybe it's hard to see from that position. But there is a hole inside. Yeah, there is a there is a hole here. There is a notch, and then you have to move this thing inside. It goes down, and then it goes all 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 the way down, and then you can lock it again. And see, that's the maximum height you can lock it. <laughs> and it looks very impressive. Look at this. The height you can work with. That's above my head. I'm 5'9", uh, 175, 176, like, and this is 183. Goes really, really high. And of course, you can always lower it down, lock it, and that works. Works really, really good. So now about the maximum spread. We're gonna check that too. So that's kind of a normal height you can work with. A little bit higher, maybe. Oops. Lock it down. Make sure they're evenly spread. Which they are not. You have this guy here. This guy here to help you. Navigate the thing. Now we're gonna put it like up completely. Also, it comes with a tool. See, Manfrotto 055 made in Italy. I'm from Croatia. These guys are just across the across the Adriatic Sea. Came with this tool, and that's a special tool. If for some reason this thing comes loose, even when you press it like here, it's, co it's coming loose, then you should take this and tighten it here. See, you can use it for tightening. Okay, this. But normally they should work for years and years. And you can record this guy here, if you can. That's the 
and the head, the head, head, record this just for the documentation and then record, uh, yeah, that's a head name, that's a head name. So I want to show you how quickly it goes like, oh my. goes back, just put it back and that's it, you're ready to go. Lower it down completely and as I said, it has a balance for the camera. So open up the first step, then you press here, you press down and you press here and then it goes all the way to 90 degrees. This is interesting. I'm gonna put this up so it doesn't hit doesn't hit the floor. So put it down, press here, and put it to 90 degrees. A little bit of pressure here, unlock it. And look at this now. <laughs> That's maximum width of the stand, stability. And still doesn't doesn't reach the, the ground a little bit here. And if you want to put it back, opa, just put it together. So basically has 90 degrees, one, two, three, four position. Right? 90 degrees, kind of 75, 45, and about 30. It's very very good. I, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna like it. So now I'm gonna talk why did I buy this thing? I bought this thing because it gives me so much when I try to rotate it, it works so flawlessly. Right. Plus, it gives you options to loosen it completely. I hear that squeak and I was worried, oh, something is wrong with the bearing, with the fluid. But no, it's just the metal rubbing. This is metal, uh, this is metal, and this is plastic. This is metal. This is kind of hard plastic too. But this is cold. Looks like metal to me. Yeah, it is cold on touch. This is metal too. So it's very strong. But what happens with this? When you go all the way to the minus, and it squeaks. But if you go just a little bit, like this, then squeaks, squeaking stops, and it has that balancing right thing. So it's going to balance your camera the way you want. You can put it back, middle, or front, and it works. I made it, mainly bought it because of AX700, which is one kilogram. It goes up to seven kilograms or eight kilograms, but they say about four kilograms should be optimal, like anything, if you don't use it too much. Uh, uh, this thing is also, if you go all the way, it's gonna give you more resistance, right? So it's gonna be harder to move. But if you go to the right, it's much smooth and it's nice, right? See, that motion, I'm gonna remove this just because it's, Kind of flopping around, and if you tighten this a little bit, get a little bit extra resistance, and here a little bit of resistance, so it works like a charm, like it should. Be. Now, this is all the way open. See, I think my opinion is much stronger and much better than the, than the gimbal head, which goes like left and right. This one goes also all the way down, all the way up, supports a lot of weight, and you can do all the angles in between. So anytime you carry your camcorder, and it's heavy, and it's made for a camcorder in the manuals. They even said, where's the head? Yeah. And when I was reading that, I was, I was really good, because it tells that it's made for a camcorder. See, designed for digital camcorder for loads up to seven kilos. Balancing four kilograms, 55 center of gravity. See? It's really, really meant for that. So I love it. I 
think it's great. I love it. And then next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this bad guy on the AX7 and then my wife is gonna put it into a coin with the AX43 just to show you how it looks with the kind of hoist which is actually me. See? Sing, sang, and you're done. So why it's good? You can use it as a tripod, you can use it as anything. It's very good because when you're heavy, uh, if you're tired of holding your camcorder, even with the gimbal, we did everything. You still need rest. You just slide it back here and then you can use it if you want or if it's a longer recording and it's perfectly smooth recording all the way. But let's, let's put it actually real camcorder and see how it looks. Okay, time to put this bad guy where it belongs. So, we already removed three quarters. Now we're gonna do, I'm not gonna put this, it's like the way that they should, they, they say it should. The reason is why, if I put it like this, see, I'm not gonna be able to remove my, my battery. So I cannot put it here. And I'm gonna lock my battery. But I'm gonna put it like this, I'm gonna move it. Here. I'm still gonna be able to, to put it the way I want. So this thing goes over and this thing one quarter goes into the hole where it needs to be. See this pin is just moved a little bit here just enough for me to reach the I can use this I think I can use one of these this tool instead of coin and just use it like this put it here like put it here and instead of coin tighten it see still straight and still strong I'm gonna put it back here on throttle leg and I can reach my battery see I can reach my battery and the good thing about this is metal, it says lens, right? Good thing about this, you can still use a camcorder. See how I made this too. <laughs> I put Velcro, made a hole here, and another hole through here, right? And I made it myself and put another hook and loop, hook and loop. This is soft, this is rough. And I just put it like this. And there you go. You can work, use the camera, camcorder, immediately record and do anything. And then when you're done, it's not interfering. When you're done, you just put it back. It's not, it's not, not gonna dangle around, it's not gonna, see. So if you wanna put it on the, make sure everything is sturdy. Just slide it to so basically hold your camera, put it here, and then slide it. So slide it there, and because see it has locking mechanism, you cannot remove it until you press here, then you can remove it. But if you Come from this side maybe. If you just slide it like this, see. You slide it inside, straight. It has to be. Mm -hmm. Like this. It has to be straight. I just make it more harder than it looks because I'm still kind of <laughs> adopting. adopting thank you and then you use this locking mechanism here you can always twist it like this pull it like this and then it's safe and secure right plus you remove it here and then you can balance your camera my camcorder is very light right but as you can see you can push it all the way here or in the middle or somewhere in here and then I'll, I will put it like this because I think it's the for this camera weight 
it's gonna be good balancing. You release the tilt, see? See, <laughs> it's meant for much bigger camcorder. So it supports really nicely. So it's not gonna go like this. It's gonna, it has a spring mechanism. And then look how it goes smoothly. It goes really, really, really smoothly. And you can go like up, all the way down, and it's much better than gimbal. You can shut your uh, steady shot completely off. And actually, it's recommended to do that. You can make it smooth like a harder with more resistance, like this. See, it's very, very good. Look at that. You can lock it completely if you want, or you can just tighten it so it's not following or following, whatever. But I think it's very good. And of course you can always lock the tilt this position or lock the pan, pan in this position. But it's, a, it's like a 360 degrees pan and everything is so tight. If you want to move to another location, Unlock it. Mm -hmm. Still struggling to find. <laughs> Unlock it's on the right. And you move to another location. All what you need to do is just just go with it. This is heavy now. <laughs> that's 4.2 kilograms plus plus one kilogram of camera. So that's a 5.2. <laughs> that's heavy now. And it's very 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 good. And for some reason you see something is happening while you're recording. No big deal. Remove this quickly. Go on the other side, push the camera, press this unlock button. There you go. Grab your camera and then you're ready to go and to do whatever you want to do. Right? Now I'm gonna show you this. So you put your camera here. So now it's a little bit better. Yeah, I have more experience now. So you lock it first. Right? So it's locked. You put it down. I'll lock this guy here. Press, see, press this button here. Go all the way up. Press this one here and remove it. And now, <laughs> look what I have now. Look at this. I have, don't mind my belly, right? <laughs> but I have this rack. I can see perfectly, I can see what I'm recording. And if I wanna check, I can still check with my, with my viewfinder directly. If I move it back, I still have this. I can add two handles, microphone extra. I have support here, I have support here and I have support here. So this is much, much steadier. This, this is much steadier than the back shoulder rig. And if it's heavy, just push it back. Yeah. Push this one into this thing. And lock it the way you want any height you want. And there you go again. You're back into business. This was locked. So unlock it, change the smoothness, fluid resistance, and everything, and have it ready. So in case you're wondering, is this works? Works like a charm. Sonny made it really ugly, but I made it nicer. Look, it's not interfering with anything. And instead of this dangling, making noise, I just put it here and you can have it anytime you want. Right? One more time. Unlock this, move it so it's not gonna fall back until you don't press that release. And that's it. That itself, it's a little bit heavy. I don't know how much, but it adds extra weight to the one, uh, one kilogram camera, 
This is probably like 300 grams. You know what? I'm just crazy. I want to check it. I'm going to undo this very fast, very quickly, and then measure it. And then I'm going to know exactly how much is this. It's only 100 grams, 105 grams. So, and I'm crazy because I didn't have to do it. Because look at this, it's already installed on the camera. But you need to remove it. I just wanted to show you how it's quickly done. Done in a second. Right? Done in a second. You put this back. And it's ready to go. And now you can see it's 102, uh, 1138. Not 1200. More. 1138. So 1.13 kilos. And it and doesn't stay in your way in any shape, form, or way. Right? And I think it's very, very good. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope I didn't bore you too much. I'm just overly excited about my new accessories for my AX700 Sony camcorder. See you next time. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. <laughs>